Primal Fear, an incredibly fun yet one of the most challenging mods out there and the most noticeable one. I will be spending 100 days here and during my time here I will have to fight 7 different tiers of bosses throughout the whole 100 days. The bosses I will have to defeat will be ranging from normal lookalike bosses to ascending beings with the power of the gods. It will be a long journey but a fun one at that. I hope you enjoy watching my internal suffering as I have to struggle my way to Pecan's Revenge. Pecan's Revenge is known for being notorious for its hellfire of attacks that can annihilate any team you own and dispassing drones that are incredibly frustrating to survive from. Anyhow, let's get on with the show. So friends, sit back and relax, grab yourself into eat or drink and enjoy the show. Peace. So, we're finally here on this beautiful beach on Ragnarok. So where to start off? Hmm. I spawn in jungle on Ragnarok, getting all of the precious stone age tools you would ever need to survive this rough environment. I saw a Pegamastix, but I didn't really care. Man, what fun! I managed to get my items back, but I pretended like nothing ever happened. So meanwhile I was learning some engrams, I heard something break in the background and I wasn't quick enough to react to that. <coughs> Man shit pomfrit. Oh. The tech parasaur had decided to keep my stuff and chase me off. It was getting quite ridiculous with the tech parasaur following me, even in the water. He was desperately trying to kill me and I was... <laughs> it was really scary. I saw an opening and I took it. I thought I was gonna be safe but I totally were not. The Parasaur really didn't have anything better to do than follow me through the entire beach. The tech parasaur had finally left me alone, so I could start working on making my base so I had a bed. I had to go for the innocent wildlife because I needed hide for a bed. I tried taming a pterodon and it didn't really work out. Oh man, let go of. So like any normal person, I took out my anger on the innocent wildlife. So later that evening, I started knocking out some dodos for those eggs that you need for table making. And unfortunately one of them got crushed to death. That was quite depressing, because I literally just tamed it. So later that day, I decided I needed some crystal, so I could make soul traps so my Dodos doesn't get stomped on again. I started making some flak armor just to feel a bit more safe in the environment. So in order for me to progress into the next tier, which was toxic creatures, I had to actually start getting my first Batera so I could go to the highlands just to grab a few crops I needed for the toxic kibble. So, I tried knocking out the Pterodon while I got some companies. They were very indecisive if they wanted me to be their friend or their breakfast. I had a scout watching the whole murder too, which was funny. I managed to bowl a pterodon again. I tried knocking out several pterodons and it didn't quite work out. I was fuming at this point. Bruh. So while I was heading back to base, I spotted an apex raptor by my base. I managed to bowl it and attack it, but weirdly enough, since it's arc, it managed to kill me either way. Okay. <laughs> you can do that? I was in the area. God damn it.
I completely forgot about the awesome spyglass so I decided to make one and check out those stats of hers. 9000 health, yeah sure, I was gonna kill that. <clears throat> she wasn't a clever girl and she let me have my belongings back. At this point, I was so frustrated and tired of that stupid ass drumstick I was carrying around for so long so I wanted to actually use some trank arrows since I had a crossbow but I was in dire need of narcotic berries. So I had to go out and look for Parasaur just to farm some berries. I didn't want to sit around babysitting the Parasaur for it to tame so I went around looking for stuff to do. The non-clever girl was still by my base. She ran away, I originally thought. But then she killed me twice. Man, oh my god. After that terrible, terrible encounter with the clever girl, I decided to go and pick up my Patera and fly around with it for a bit. Oh my god, what is that? No, 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 what? No! God damn it! Oh my god! <sighs> I managed to make it to the highlands finally for some reason. And I found some sheep that was <laughs> being killed for some nice deepest meters. I found the crops now that will help me make the toxic kibble. And finally, I could actually make some toxic kibble. So let me take a moment to explain how this works to you guys. There are 14 different types of tameable creatures and in order to tame them you need a specific kibble for each of them. In order to craft these kibble types you need eggs from the previous tiers. For example, you're gonna need dodo eggs to make the first toxic kibble. And then once you get some toxic eggs you need those toxic eggs to make the alpha kibble, and so on. There's also a bunch of other ingredients you will need such as crops to make them. And then you also have the boss variants of the kibble, but they have their own ingredients you need and obviously their eggs. I came to a realization that I need a soul terminal and a soul gun. Because picking up babies after they hatch, single-handedly, with the soul trap, it's very very annoying. I went to the ice cave to kill some penguins for some polymer, and since I was there I was grabbing some oil as well. So I gathered the items for the soul terminal so I could get some egg production going. So I finally made a fabricator that I can use to make a generator eventually. So because of the Turkish event, I have not been able to see a single toxic or alpha dodo. Because usually you go for those types. And I was quite limited to what I could tame because of this. I made myself a generator and placed it down, then I placed down the fridge as well. I was hitting the beaver dance for some easy pace as well. So for no apparent reason, this stupid ass enforcer just popped out of nowhere and started attacking me and my base. I have no clue how he got in here. So, prevent this from happening again, I started making a new base, which is basically just the platform. I started on making a greenhouse too because I needed the crops. Since I was building the greenhouse with glass, I continuously had to go farm crystal. Meanwhile, I was out farming, I sensed something. Hello, my- Oh no, that's a primal! Oh no! I met my friend Akisa in the highlands who just joined the server, who was also struggling to tame a Cocaradontosaurus. She tried for a few times and I believe she died over 10 times.
it was time to tame some dung beetles. One nice thing about this whole terminal is that you can use them to produce fertilizer. It will also put the fertilizer in each crop plot while you are applying. The soil terminal can produce a bunch of eggs for the kibble and poop, which is for the greenhouse. My base was starting to shape up, finally, except I don't have a roof. My crops are finally starting to become ready to be harvested, so I whipped out my transfer tool, grabbed all the bears and crops to my inventory. While I was outside farming, an alpha raptor decided to attack me for no reason at all. <sighs> so I decided to make it my friend. Oh shit! I finally tamed my first alpha of all time. And then another! So when I was out looking for more tames, I suddenly <gasps> just died, and I did not realize what killed me after killed. my face planted yeah. the ground. <laughs> I was so scared of going back to my body, because it was a Chaos Rex and it does some kind of aura if you get too close to it. The Rex was camping my item cache and time was running short, so I really just had to go for it. I managed to get my stuff back, but then... I felt so defeated for the day, so I turned off the game. <laughs> so the next day... There isn't that much we missed from last time. Basically all I've done is putting a rooftop on. That's real. I was out looking for alpha That's creatures an alpha. and I found this pterodon that I wanted. Oh yeah! Noise! So since I got the female, it was time for me to tame a male. Also, so I got the mail, I bred them together, hatched the egg, and threw out the baby. I was tired of the pterodons at this point, so I wanted to get like an alpha griffin, but I had to go back to base to grab some gates to trap it down. I put down a bunch of gates in order to trap it along with a bunch of beds in case I was gonna die. So now when the beds are down, it was time for me to actually lead the griffin in the trap. Come, come here boy. Trap time. I was starting to get some kind of problems with this alpha griffin, such as it escaping. No, it flew out! It also almost killed me in the process. So I whipped out my pterodon again and bait it in the trap. Oh, he just destroyed my armor and killed my pterodon. Second attempt, I managed to get it inside the trap, but then I had to sacrifice my lime pterodon for it. One eternity later and it was finally knocked out, but then again I needed a mate, so I went out searching for one. After a long time searching, I found a male alpha. So I baited it. I trapped it. We're gonna have to go after a horse so. Knocking it out. And then tamed it. So later that day I saw a low leveled fable trike and I decided to kill it to see if I could get some easy items. Oh my god. That's a god neck. Oh my god. Anyhow, later that day I made a bunch of elemental cable because I was ready for the next tier. So I went to my usual spot to look for Archaeopteryx, and I found one. And then I made my trap. I didn't know you could bowl at them, and I was panicking at this point. It didn't end so well for me. I tried placing down the boot, but yeah, he killed me either way. Luckily, I made it back to my body on the top of my breeder griffin. <laughs> I got my stuff back, but then a primal spider got way too close to my comfort. It was just by the hair strand that I got away. 
I put down a new trap since I saw the fire arc, I tried taming the board and I led it to my new trap with great success. I was honestly quite pleased with my god neck. I decided to go for the forest titan and to see if I could kill it and unlock some easy engrams. I guess it worked. So when I was just playing around doing a murder, I noticed I can put any points into my character and then I got DC'd. The server just crashed for no reason at all. <sighs> just dark things. The rollback was just about 2 minutes so I wasn't so worried about it all. Finally I was ready to tame some Apex Arcus for the next tier. Then suddenly an Alpha Capra out of nowhere just came and started eating me which resulted in my death. So after that terrible death I went out looking for a male and I tamed it. It was an ice titan on the map, so I decided to kill it for some easy engrams also. Oh boy, look at those engrams. I felt so comfortable killing things with my alpha griffin, but apparently when I was fighting this <gasps> megapithecus, he killed me. Apparently he can kill you off your mount. I got back to my griffin and was still alive and I got my stuff. Easy peasy. When I was messing about for a while, I found a fire griffin to tame. It would be the perfect killing machine until I would get into the advanced element here or something similar. I felt pretty ballsy and I was tracking this fire griffin out in the air. The fire griffin got knocked out a little bit too close to the chaos rex to my comfort and I was panicking. So the next day I decided to make some fable cable since I was ready for the next tier. So while I was just checking out the scenery on this beautiful map I found the pterodon I was looking for from before. So I saw a female pterodon from before, so I had to search the entire canyon for it. That was a terrible shot, I must admit. I saw a light parrot close to my base, so I just had to tame it. Their hitbox is absolutely garbage. I will need its feathers for the cable and boss summoners in the future. I was messing about with the celestial spina which almost sent the girl to the grave. Yikes. Sheesh! So then I went back to base to repair all my gear. And then I went out searching for more tames and I actually came across a fable unicorn which I could tame for their delicious excrement. Stop it! <laughs> Get some help. Mantis. I came across this Star Griffin and I wanted to attempt taming it since it was kind of high level. I was quite annoyed how long it took to knock it out so with the power editing, BAM! Knocked it out and BAM! Tamed it. And for some damn reason, I decided to go inside the swamp, and yeah, I don't know why. What? I just fell asleep, and I don't know why, and it made me extremely anxious. <gasps> a little bit a later thing. that day, I was out looking for a fable with Teresina, since I was in need of rare flowers and shrooms. I found a low level one, but it just had to do for now. It was time to try out the amazing poop the unicorn makes. It will also give you 10 times experience boost for 60 seconds so you can level up character. 
My friend Akiza told me to come over to her mm -hmm. base and check out what was going What's on. What's going on in your cave? Oh, yours. <laughs> do you like your cave still? <laughs> I, do, I do. I just didn't realize anything could bust their way in. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Putting up walls the second I can. I can see it. <laughs> it's right there. So I had to leave Akiza with her business since I had to focus on my playthrough. I came across an Omega and Vibran, which I needed for the cable because I didn't have a female yet. I didn't realize I was dying to the fire debuff until it was too late. I went on the back of my Alpha Griffin and as soon as I made it back to my body, the Omega Vibran wasn't there anymore. I finally found my Omega female. It took quite a while but I should be ready now for the demonic phase. I went out in the swamps with my Thursday, you know, and just farmed a couple of mushrooms and flowers. I started killing a bunch of light parrots because I needed their feathers for the cable and bossomers. I also made myself a replicator. I will probably use it just to make some tech stuff, and that's about it. I was in need of primal blood because I couldn't make the demonic cable, so I had to go out and look for my first primal to kill. So I went to my usual ice cave and was looking for the bears there. Apparently they seemed to spawn pretty frequently in there. The battle lasted forever, but I was in dire need of primal blood so I could make my first demonic cable. So when I finally killed the primal and got the blood, I went back to the base, made a cable and went out searching for the thorny dragon. I found my first high level thorny dragon after lots of searching. I attempted knocking it out and it killed me in my darkness. It was a bit of a struggle to tame this thorny dragon. There was a manticore that was way too close to my thorny dragon, and like Harambe, he killed me off my mount again. It was a real struggle trying to knock this thorny dragon out. Jesus. But after a couple of hundred guards later, lots of issues along the way, he finally became my friend. I finally made it. I finally made it to the demonic tier, which means I could actually go attempt killing the origins. I went ham with my thorn dragon. I was killing many origins as I could find. I felt like a god at this point. I found myself a female demonic thorny dragon. I wanted to tame it, but it was way too close to an origin, so I had to bait origin away first. So I went back to my base. I made myself an origin arrow. This particular arrow one shots anything. Doesn't matter how much torpor they have, it knocks them out completely with one arrow. I just tagged the thorny dragon with my origin arrow and just sat and wait. I finally got myself a female, so that means I could finally start breeding them and get an imprinted one. I made myself a tech generator and a teleporter, which would be very useful in this mod. I also got my first imprinted demonic baby. I was still lacking on some tech grants, so I made myself a origin summoner and I summoned it and killed it. So I was in need of more metal, so I set down to look for fabled magnum sword. I found one and I knocked it out and tamed it. So when I killed the origin Vibrant, I unlocked the tech transmitter 
which allows me to scan for creatures on the map. It was finally decided for me to go and tame some celestial arches because they were the next step in progressing through the tiers. So I found the one celestial RJ I was scanning for and oh my god, the hitbox sucks so badly I basically just wasted 3 origin arrows. But then again, I finally tagged it with the origin arrow and this time it was an actual hit. So I got myself a celestial RJ and now I need a mate for it. So I found myself another celestial RJ which means I could breed them as soon as I gender swap them with the S plus boot header. Back at base, I made myself a mute placed it down, threw the dino out, and gender swapped it. Easy peasy. So while I was out flying, I found myself a high level of Grifficorn. So I went back to base, made some bullets. I went out again to look for it and tame it. Boys. There was another Grifficorn on the map, so I decided to go and tame it so I could have some speedy Grifficorns zooming around the map. Grifficorn trap, let's go. Oh, nice. So I finally had my first fabled Grifficorn imprinted baby and I named it Ultra Rose. I figured it was finally time to make the industrial primal forge. It melts stuff incredibly fast. Okay, nice. For me to be able to do Pickon's Revenge, I will have to kill a lot of bosses to get there. For example, I will have to kill about 160 origin bosses, I will have to kill 5 reaper empresses and 5 indom emperors. I will also have to kill the spirit and chaos guardians to unlock the spirit and chaos orbs. I will also have to defeat pick on the creator 5 times and then I will have to defeat nova the destroyer 5 times as well. Then it's the four elemental classes I have to defeat, and then I should be ready for Pecan's Revenge. So right now I had to make the summoners for the Indon and the Empress. And I was finally ready to attempt killing my first Emperor and Empress. Ooh, here we go! Power up! Health potion! Oh, this is gonna be easy! She's swimming in Viking Bay. Also, if you made it oh, this far in the video, comment, like, and subscribe. And now it's time for Celestial Indom. Let's go. This could be a scary one. Wait, I'm not power on. Something is blocking you from powering on! I can't power up! Oh no! Oh my! Oh, I got the Celestial Blade! <laughs> well, well, well. Two bosses down. Now it was time to use the summoners and tame the Reaper and Indom. Shabby. Three thirty is not bad. Ooh. Okay, I'm dying. So finally, I got my hands on, on an empress and an emperor. Those are gonna be a valuable asset for the chaos and spirit guardian fights. <sighs> so I was out hunting for demonics since I was running low on souls. For making the boss hunters. Oh, 
I do like no damage. Oh no! I died. <laughs> How about you just stay alive? You're losing your time by dying, okay? <laughs> no! I died, Mickey's! No! Bruh. There, there, buddy. It was finally time for me to attempt doing the Chaos and Spirit Guardian. The plan here for me was to use Indominus to ground the Chaos Vibrance, because apparently you can do that, and it makes the fight a lot easier. Oh, it's grounded! It's grounded! Oh, let's go! It should go, boys! Have to heal my creatures! My Reaper! Oh, please ground it! Yeah. Huh, this tactic really worked! So hopefully I will be yeah. out of- Yeah! Yeah, yeah, I was out of prize moment. Uh, out of prize reach there. Whee! Yeah, <laughs> that worked! <laughs> I was quite surprised roll. how well that fight actually went. I think the Indominus really helped out there. But now, it was time for the rival to go down as well. And uh, here we go! You got this. Oh, dude, I'm Oh my god! I just got shoved so far away from the boss. I'll have it. Oh, 600 million. I might have this. He's stuck right on me right now. Oh, come on! Yes! He's dead. Got him? He's dead. Hey, nice. Ah, that felt like an accomplishment. Did that make you sad? Yeah, she was working. What are you gonna do? I had something to do in real life and decided to log off in my friend's space. <clears throat> and then when I logged in, uh, I was chained up Hi. by my tribe mate. So, I, I this was leave. a huge mistake by my part. Yeah, where are you gonna go? <laughs> oh, there's a primal here, I think. Oh, kill me, please! <laughs> <laughs> there was a level 380 spirit vibrant on the map, so I had to go back to I'm base to and make the spirit orb in order to tame it. I missed. I missed again. I drank the Vibrant and I was trying my best effort to avoid all his godly attacks when my Trank was doing its job. Sure is. I saw it finally got knocked out in the distance, so I just went for it and tamed it. Later that day, I came across a 290 Chaos Griffin that would be fun to have just for some shits and giggles. Nice. So now I'm just gonna need a second Chaos Griffin and a second Spirit Vibrant so I can breathe them. I came across the Chaos Griffin when I was flying around in the canyon, so I decided to definitely tame it because I needed it to breathe. Oh sheesh! I finally had my first Chaos Griffin. I named him Mighty Eagle because... Chaos. Corner there. Corner. 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 So, I wanted to show my friend the Kisa, my new dino I just acquired. Oh. I totally Monster. forgot about the R the Chaos Griffin oh, gives yeah. off. It basically kills wild creatures, well, damages them within an area. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Akisa was devastated that her Shinehorn died because she was trying to tame it. I was AFK because of food, but Kisa told me she just saw a Spirit Vibrant by the Vibrant Trench, so I packed up my stuff and went over there. It wasn't the max level, but at least one 
that I would need for breeding. So I did what any normal person would do as soon as they used the trank arrow. I was kiting it and waiting for it to be knocked out. And then fed it, tamed it. Factor. So in order for me to be able to kill Nova and Pikon, I have to kill a couple of more Origins and Empress and Emperors. That squid almost got me. <laughs> I was really lucky there. So I made a bunch of summoners and I summoned them all in Viking Bay. I did this for a couple of times, so I could have the tokens for the boss summoners. So I did this for a couple of times and that should be enough for me to be able to do no and pick on. So I was running into an issue with making the celestial and demonic cable, which you need to make some of the summoners. I didn't have enough fable eggs and this is my solution to the problem. More babies! I was fighting more origin bosses since I needed way more tokens than I actually thought I was gonna need. Ah. After those fights I had like a million costumes and tokens. Which I needed. Well, not the costumes. Smile. Then it was also time to defeat some of the emperors and empresses because I was in dire need of their souls so I could make the summoners. I killed them about five times because that's how many I needed. So I was planning on doing no one pick on today, but I was missing a couple of more artifacts and origin tokens, so I had to farm them. Ready for this? And then it was finally time to attempt doing pick on. Okay, let's go pick on the crit. Ooh, so how is. I like to do this fight is that I use a spirit vimer to draw its Bomb attention, board. and then I use just the spirit orb, bomb, and kill it. That seems to work. Always make sure that you're always healed up during this fight, because the drones will continuously attack you and try to kill you. I had to do this fight five times at least. This is how all of the fights is turning out to be. Very blinding, I must say. The boss will also drop an egg, a fertilized one, so you can have your own polywog. My screen is a goddamn bright. So oh. And that's the fourth kill, so I only have to kill it one more time. I tried doing this on a Chaos Griffin, and it turned out to be the wrong choice because you can get flung away from the boss. That was also the last kill I had to do for Pecan. I was also putting away the eggs in the hatchery so they can incubate, which is an S plus thing. So when you kill Pecan the creator, he will drop you a set of tech armor, which is the best set in Primal Fear. So it was time to summon my first Nova, which is one of the best creatures in Primal Fear. It didn't seem to work out great in the desert, so I decided to head to the Dragon Canyon and see if I could fight him there instead. This did work out way better than I anticipated. I was quite pleased. So like Picon, Nova also drops a fertilized egg that you can incubate for your own baby Nova. This turned out to be very good. Because he's basically pinned down and he had the trouble attacking back. 
Out of all of the spirit creatures, I do believe Spirit Wyvern is the strongest of them all. And that was the last kill I needed in order to do the next tier of bosses. You also get one saddle per kill for the creatures. You also get an ascension and a descension item from the bosses that you can ascend your demonic or celestial creature. I basically spend the next day just waiting for Pecan and Nova to race up because I could use them for the boss fights. There is gonna be a few day jumpings here because I spent AFK in the game while I was waiting for babies to grow up. The first one became a precious Azrael. I named the second one Trashy. The third one was my Vasilisa. The fourth one was my Runic. Last but not least, my Metal. These were gonna be my generals for the last boss fights in this entire series. So, it had finally come down to taking down all of the elemental colossus. So, I would have to take down the caustic, fire, ice, and electric. And hopefully, we don't die. Hello? Why are you standing there? Can I go in? Oh my god, they really just wanna watch this. Finally, starting to do something. Well, they're attacking the wrong target. They're attacking me. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. 200 million. 100. Nice. One Colossus down. Three more to go. That was absolutely amazing fight. So for all of these fights, all the Colossus fights, I was basically just waiting one day between all of the fights. So on day 100 I would fight Pecan's Revenge. And then it was time to take down the Ice Colossus. I love how the Reaper is just standing there and doesn't attack back. Well, I would be happy though. As soon as they start attacking back, my PC starts to make a lot of racket and my frames go into the single digits. But then again, the Ice Colossus stood no chance against the Generals. The Novas are way too good. And Metal almost died? Holy shit, I had one Nova almost dying. And then, it was finally time to take down the Fire Colossus. I was a bit scared of this, that's for sure, because we all know how much fire damage really does, like the fire debuff. And then the third one was down. All I had to do now was just heal them back up again to full health and then go again for the electric one, which is the last. So on this day I actually didn't go AFK. I actually spent time throwing out and leveling up all of these thorny dragons that I could use for the last boss fight. So I named two thorny dragons after two special people in my art of history. And one of them is gonna be Yodagas and the other one is Kriggs. 
I also made sure I was descending the dino which makes them stronger and this is an item you can only get from Nova. And then it was finally time to take on the electric colossus. It's kind of silly how they just hover over like that in there. So let's go. Let's not die here. Go also, attack. okay, I have my healing attack, potion enabled. Attack. Come on, attack, attack. Stop standing there. Why are you standing there? Can't they attack? Like, what's going on here? Hello? Hello? Also, I don't like being here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Also, my frames are down in the single juice again. Um. Okay. What? Apparently, I died. I have still no clue how he managed to kill me off my mouth. I was even fully healed with the healing potion on, but yeah. So I did something very ballsy here and just went for my body. I didn't really have a choice, so I just went for it. Shit. What are you supposed to do in that situation? This time I was a bit more careful and kept my distance away from the boss so it didn't happen again. But who knows. That was the last Colossus I had to take down in order for me to do Pecan's Revenge. So the time had finally come to put an end to the series and finish off the last boss. I land up all of my diners I would be using for this boss fight. I will be waiting for the nightfall, because that's when it's gonna be the most epic to watch this. So I'm just lining up all of the sleeping bags I will be using during this boss fight, because who knows how many times I will die. Let's do this. And then it was finally time to take him down. So let's do this. Holy shit. So he started Five decimating FPS. my army of dinos. I had my frames down in the single digits and it was really making me nervous since my whole army started dying. Like my frames. No, my Yoda gas. 3 FPS. It's so freaking laggy. Oh my god. My entire army. And I have no stam. Pecan's Revenge started killing my dinos like it was a smorgasbord. I went in on this fight with like almost 30 dinos and I was only down to one single Nova now. Holy sh... This is so goddamn like it. I had 7 billion HP left to go and I was down to only one Nova at this point. I've never been more focused on life than ever before. I don't even see where the boss is. Oh god, all my tames are gone. I was quite nervous at this point because I lost my entire army of dinos. So I tried walking out of this fight just to recover some stam and heal up my creature a bit. I lost my tames. The boss was down to 1.8 billion health. This is too I just down. had to go for it. I really had no other option. Oh, come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Only 450 million health Some left. Health. Oh my god. Nice. 
my Azrael came out victorious, and I was super Pick thankful for her. Everything I own. I hope you enjoyed my first 100 days. If you liked the video, comment, like, and subscribe. Because I am planning on releasing a bunch of other 100 days attempts in the future. Merry Christmas and a good New Year's everyone. Thank you.